um, during the late 50s, early 60s uh, was quite a, a horrendous time for Hong Kong. Um, and it was sort of made by the UN one of the, it, it became part of the, the, the year of the refugee. And I am one of 106 um, Hong Kong adoptees or foundlings that comprised a program called the Hong Kong Project. And we were the first group of transracially adopted children to the UK. I was the first British Chinese female to train at an adult recognised drama school and graduate. In those days there were only five, five drama schools, so there were a finite number of places where you could go and train to become a professional actor. Because I think it gave me a much more rounded uh, education and basis from which to, to become a professional actor. Well, my first job was a film, Ping Pong, so that was unusual in that you, d you know, you, you don't, in those days you didn't really do that. You know, that's a lead role in a feature film, a British feature film that went to, to the Venice Film Festival that got a standing ovation at the Sale Grande, which is the, one of the biggest cinemas in Venice, and basically nada over here. That kind of like says it all to me. We have to, as a group, start taking pride in the, the achievements that we have, we have made. And the only reason I say this is so that people can start looking at things in context. And putting it into context, if I was from any other ethnic minority, this would be well known, well documented, etc., etc. I just happen to be from a minority that is considered by the wider society and the wider community as silent, acquiescent and, and, and a model minority and we don't actually really need to cater for them because they do their own thing. And my answer to that is that if you do not tell somebody you don't like something, how are they going to know that that behaviour on television, or on the street, or in a school is not to be accepted. To a certain extent, I think the larger British East Asian community has to say, take some culpability of the, the mess that we find ourselves in. The, the wider community, East Asian community, has to start supporting you know, its own community members, uh, artists, whatever, not just the traditional professions, you know, sort of engaging and supporting things like the arts um, on the mainstream British platform are not things to be shunned and are not things to be afraid of. They are actually things that can enhance people's lives and expectations and the way that we are viewed not only as a community, but a, a, as British citizens, which at the moment we, we, we are not. I want to put the Asian back into Caucasian. There's nothing wrong in setting a play in a Chinese takeaway or a restaurant. But I don't, I don't want it to be about number 35 and number 36. I want, it, I want it to be about the people who have to work in that environment. You know, I want to see us being represented as real people who have an interaction with everybody else in this, on this planet, in this country.